What's up guys, it's Sunday morning and I'm in Austin, Texas. I'm in my gym training my fit. And this is how I start my morning. I get downstairs, I get my journal out that I recently got from a friend, my friend Chris. It was a good reminder to get back in touch with daily affirmations. And he gave me this book and he was saying that what he does every day is he writes down how he wants to make the day amazing for himself. What would make today amazing for you? Then he would write down three things he was grateful for, then a daily affirmation and visual, visualization to what he wants to be, or how he wants to be, or what he wants to achieve, and then the action steps necessary to get there. And then at the end of the day, it would be kind of like a review. What are, what are the three amazing things that happened today? What amazing things did I accomplish as a result of getting my body into a state where it was ready to accomplish it? And it's, it's amazing. I, I, I lost touch with this idea, this concept, for the past two years. And now that I'm getting back in touch with it, it's amazing. And I'm applying it to myself, I'm applying it to my clients. And the kind of amazing results I'm seeing are just mind-boggling. Just how, how well connected your mind and body are is fascinating to me. And it's crazy. If you think about it, the brain has hundreds, if not thousands of connections that fall down into the spinal cord. And when you come into the spinal cord, it branches out into your limbs, into your organs, into your connective tissue. It goes everywhere, right? So you have these infinite connections falling from your brain out into your body, and then you have these connections that are returning back from these parts of your body up to your brain. So there's this constant feedback loop going back and forth. So physiologically, it makes sense. So why wouldn't we do these things for ourselves? Why have we gotten lost? Why have we lost touch with that aspect of ourselves? When you go into the gym and you're lifting weights and you're getting focused and you're doing a deadlift, or you're doing a squat, or you're performing a lunge, or you're sprinting, whatever it may be, people often lose track of why they're doing this. They just do it because they want to get it over with. But the thing is, the amount of value you can get from affirming yourself while you do these things are amazing. And it's, it's people forget that the movement brain, the way our bodies and the way the human species has developed has been based upon movement, right? And so even the way our intelligence has been made up, the way the neocortex, a part of the brain that's involved with decision making and planning and higher intellectual order is bootstrapped to the movement brain. They're highly interrelated. So the, the ability for us to develop these complex thoughts hinges upon how well we can move. So we're cutting ourselves short by not connecting those two parts of ourselves. So when you run, when you're doing a deadlift, when you're doing a farmer's walk, affirm yourself. Tell your things like, I'm amazing, I am strong, I'm confident, I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna be a stronger version of myself on the other side. Tell yourself these things. When you're eating certain foods, tell yourself, I'm healthier, I feel better. Tell yourself these things, feel it viscerally in your body. It's amazing to feel these things. Speak from your diaphragm, speak from here to when you, whenever you affirm yourself. Speak from your lower parts of your body, speak from your center. And when you can do that for yourself, your entire physiolo uh, physiology changes. A good example of this is, look at someone who's hunched over, whose neck is drawn forward and their shoulders are rounded. If you look at them long enough, you'll realize, okay, like, they're probably unconfident, they're insecure, they're kind of shy, they don't want to be in public. But if you look at someone walking upright with their chest up and their shoulders back, and they're speaking with a nice, deep, resonating voice, you know they're confident. So just like you can affirm yourself with your brain, with your mind, and, and you say these things to yourself, you can also perform actions that, that further affirm the way you think. So it's always this constant feedback loop. So if I stood up with my shoulders back and walked around, I would automatically feel better. I would automatically feel more confident. If I breathed more through my diaphragm, I spoke more from my diaphragm, I'd feel more confident about what I'm saying. It's always back and forth, right? So I highly, highly implore you to every day, every day when you wake up, either journal, either yell, jump around, move around, whatever it takes, but affirm yourself. Tell yourself 
what you really believe yourself to be. Even if you don't believe it, even if you don't even see it right now, say it anyway. Say I'm amazing, say I'm confident, say I am the best there is at what I do. I'm changing people's lives, I'm changing myself for the better, I'm helping my family. Whatever it is, say it if it applies to you. Say it before you believe it. Say it before you're even doing it. And before you know it, you'll be doing it. Peace.